What I'm going to do now is combine a couple tools to help me create a blog from one of the pieces of content that I've already created. So I'm going to move into Descript. I'm in one of my new favorite programs, Descript, and I'm going to go back to my projects I just created using AI to save time creating content with Canva. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the transcript. So how I get the transcript is I hit publish, then export, and I'm exporting a transcript. And I want it in plain text right now because I'm going to do something with it. So I hit export, and I'm just going to put it under my downloads for now, save, and it's exported. So I hit open. I'm going to open that up. Let me pause this. All right, so what that did is it gave me my my transcript. So I'm going to use that in chat and a chat API program. Chat C, what is it called? Okay, chat PT, GPT. I have to verify that I'm human. Okay, so now I will say, summarize the main steps of creating. So I'm going to take the text, the text that I did, and I'm just I just used natural language. I said use use this text. So I'm going to go Control A, Control C for copy, and I'm going to paste this into Chat GPT, and we'll see see what it says. And normally this takes. 45 seconds, 30 seconds, or a minute. If it if it doesn't like it, it will give me an error. There's always a struggle doing a, a live version. Well, there we go. What is it doing? Click the plus button and type the images you want to create. Convert the document to a presentation, which is what I did with each heading becoming a new slide. Use Canva Pro to resize the slides into a Facebook post and apply templates to the image, which is what I did in the video. Delete the text. Now I'm going to say, write a 500, ah, a 500 word blog based on the step to create a post using in the ad. So now it's going to take my words and its summary. And it's going to write a 500 word blog post. Now, sometimes I say write a 500 word blog post so a 12 year old can understand it because often this stuff gets complicated and I love having copy that is easily understood. Wow. It started out with an intro in today's digital world. Having a strong social media presence is crucial for businesses of all sizes. And uh, with the help of tools like Canva Magic. So I could write this or I could have spoken this out, I suppose. It would have taken me an hour, probably. But now I have, I already, I did my lesson, which took me 30 minutes to make, I guess. Maybe less. Because I, when I recorded my lesson, I recorded it like three times to get the exact steps. But that, 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 so it took me about 30 minutes. I recorded it. I edited it down a little bit because I, I say awe a lot. So Descript can take out all my ums and ahs and make the sound better. And so I'm using my own words. It summarized my own words. It took my steps and now it's using my steps to make, to make it. Oh, it even, <laughs> it even did the Canva magic text to image feature which I did at the end as an aside. I showed people how to make a text to image and it even did that. Oh, wow. Look at that. So now, so now all I have to do is copy this into, well, I, I save my, I save my social media marketing, I have a content posting schedule. This will probably get bumped up, but under produce, I will probably 
make this a bonus episode or something. But I put mine in an outline and I have an easy outline maker. Which might be <laughs> using chat the chatbot stuff. It might be then if if AI is going to get built into programs like Canva, and I even saw recently AI getting built into a note taking app. <laughs> A note-taking app where it will, you you write an outline, it'll it'll create an outline of what you're what you're going for. So this is how to make a how, how to make a blog post using a transcript and chat. I always get the name of the chat wrong. Chat GBT. Chat GPT. GPT. Copy. And then I will just grab my stuff and I'll save this for later. And uh, when I want. That's a different one. That's my three point lighting. I I don't. I'd, so the three point lighting one, I don't. And I have lights in my room and I have three points and I, I didn't know too much about it. So I asked chat chat GPT, what's a good way to light your video? And it said, use three point lighting. And I said, oh, what are your little three point lights? And it said, fill light, backlight, key light. And I'm like, oh, what's a fill light? And it told me, and what's a key light? And it told me, and what's a backlight? And then I'm like, well, how do I use those? And it told me about like image. The, the the warmth of it, you know, you can have a cool light or warm light and you got to try to match them up and have one light off to the side and then another one off to the other side. And it was wonderful. And I turned that into a little mini presentation. So then I just saved my, I saved my text here. And then when I come back to my blog, when it's time to write my blog, I can, I can just quickly, quickly make it. If this is my little this is my little cheat sheet outline from Graham Cochran, how to sell what you know. He he described how do you make blog posts that make sense. It's really simple. Title, introduction, big idea, subplot, conclusion, call to action. It's awesome. So now I have now I have my outline and uh, what I what I do with this, probably too much for you asking, but I just uh, put it down here. Making blog post with a and then I share it there so there you go that's how you make a blog post with AI I do have to say get back to the screen I do have to say there is some concern over, you know, Google or other search engines knowing that you are using AI to produce blog content. I think the way to minimize that is to use it as an outline. You use it as prompts, get the prompts to, to organize your ideas, then record it in your own words, and then have the AI summarize your own words. And that way you have, you have sort of fed it how you talk and you can even tell it, you know, rewrite this using similar language construction uh, so that it will use the words that you feed it to recreate the summary. It's pretty awesome that way. The other way to, the other way to do this is, you know, record a first draft of your teaching feed it into AI and say, summarize this for me, summarize my main points, or say, write a speech for me based on this text that I've given you, and then take it back to your presentation if you're recording a video presentation, and then just re-record the scripts, adding in your own stories again, your own illustrations, which will remove some of the AI-ness. AI-ness? Remove some of the computer uncanny valley, you know, oh, this is definitely AI from it. And so now you have your own original content proofread, 
and grammatically corrected and sort of like stylistically corrected from a natural language learning AI. So that's how I can create a blog post from these two videos, the Canva video and this one. I've created 10 blog posts, an outline, a blog post summary. I have a video. I I can, using Descript, I can upload the video to YouTube, which is, I'm going to do that after this. And I have the, I can turn those Facebook posts using Canva Pro. I can resize them into Instagram Reels, or I can use those Facebook, those tips, you know, as a, a Facebook story where you scroll through the images. I don't do that much myself. It's one of the things that I hear is a good thing to do. So in an hour, I think I've been doing this since about two o'clock which is what the uh, what the the webinar was for from one to two, I've created five, six, ten pieces of content. More if you want to post your your things on TikTok and YouTube reels with with the same pieces of content. It's a much quicker way. It's still good. It still uses my voice and my my language, but it's just I don't have to hire an editor right now to rearrange things, reread things, and summarize them for me. I hope this helps. This has been fun. This has only been week one. I started learning about this Monday with chat GPT, and I started diving deep into it, and it is just fantastic, and I hope you take advantage of it because it's not it's not a matter of if AI is going to get integrated into our current programs. It's just a matter of when. If we can get ahead of this, you're going to be creating content better, quicker, faster, cheaper with less headache. So if you have any questions, let me know.